this is Galaga one two three one two three. Today I'm going to show you how to update. Well, in this video I'm going to show you how to update your Bookport Classes firmware. So let's get started because I want to try and get this done in one tutorial, not to make it in two parts. Doug, quick time to boot camp assistant. Oh, let on. my I sync I cal the I image I D B D B address the I image I sync I cal book track download book track quick time clear book transfer dialog book transfer. Oh yeah, we gotta wake this up. So I'm gonna. Don't you just love that? Great, what was that? Sorry, I'm trying to mess. Selection replaced. Zero fast. item selected. I'm gonna rush it one up. Get this done. Menu bar, Apple. Okay. So we wanna go to help. I'm gonna do this fast, okay? Help, help, soft firmware update, software update, ellipse, firmware update, ellipse, firmware update, dialog, book transfer, yes button, book transfer. There is a new version of Bookport Plus firmware available. You are currently using version 4.6.0.32 beta. The latest version is 4.6.0.34 beta. Would you like to in no button, details, yes button. So I'm gonna hit yes. So now it is downloading this update. Book transfer busy. Please be clock. Please be fast. Firmware update. Downloading update. Nineteen percent. Book transfer ready. So now it's downloading the update. And what we're going to do when this is done is you are going to hear the prompts through my book port of it installing the firmware. This video might be a little long, and you will not be able to see my book port um, because I ha I can't. Find a way to bring that up quickly. I could use photo booth, but that would be silly. So you're just gonna hear. Let's see what it's doing. I hope it's fast. It takes a long time to update, so I hope the tutorial will be okay. And I hope YouTube won't reject it. If that happens, we'll just redo it when the next version comes out. Alright, now hurry up, go faster. Dim table, book, tra oh. book transfer. Book port plus firmware has been copied to the device. To apply the firmware, do the following. 1. If the book port plus is connected via USB, unplug the USB cable. 2. If using a card reader, put the SD card back into your book port plus. 3. If the book port plus is connected over the network, disconnect the network folder on the book port plus. Four. Plug in the AC adapter. Book transfer has new dialog. Okay. Book Excuse me. Oh, I know, I know. Book transfer. Oh, book transfer. Okay, so now we're going to unplug the this cable. No, I can't turn it. Up. So I'm going to disconnect. Select user notification oh, center. Restarting. Please wait. Sorry, I didn't mean quiet while I start. Okay, so now, now this is restarting. And it's going to tell me that an update was found. And it's going to start to update. So just be seeing book transfer window. You can just explore that. New firmware update found. Starting to update. Please wait. Please plug in AC adapter. Okay. Please plug in AC adapter. Please plug in AC adapter. Let me do that. Please plug in AC adapter. Please plug in AC adapter. Updating started. So now it is updating and it's going to play that chime during the update. Believe me, I'm, um, I love installing new updates. It makes me feel good. Um... Believe me, I can't wait. I hope someday we'll be able to download books using this Wi-Fi radio. But right now, I find the Wi-Fi radio kind of useless. A couple of times, I've even decided to go down, back down um, to 4.5. Because I like that version of it better. Alright, hurry up now. Near me that I can use. Oh, I have gender. Let me see what time it is. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
4.44 a.m. I should have checked it when we started the video. Let's just pray that this gets done. But you can see it's updating. But I, I much prefer the way the Victor Reader stream updates in the book port. Because the book port, I mean, yeah, the book port just chimes. The Victor Reader used to talk to you. He used to say, please wait while your Victor Reader is being updated. So I liked that. I'll just be quiet for a few minutes so we can listen to this wonderful sound. Updating, updating, updating. I wonder what the finished result will be like. Oh, by the way, I'd like you guys to help. Um, if you own a book port, I'd like to know where you go on APH's website to give them feedback and report bugs. Time check. 10.47 a.m. By the way, if you're curious about that um voice that you hear when I'm checking the time, see my video, Agenda Lifetime Voice Calendar. So that's what that is that I'm checking the date and time of. Oh, gee. See, guys, you can see that this takes a long time. I mean, I wish I could pause the video, but I don't know how to do that with QuickTime. Updating succeeded. Yes. Yes, it's done. Let's see now. Please wait. So now it's rebooting. Screensaver. What is my screensaver? RSS visualizer screensaver image. Book book trends. So now I'll just wait for the slow poke to boot, and then I'll stop the video. SD card Daisy title. Anastasia has the answers. Publication date June 2007. Publisher National Library Service for the Blind and Physically Handicapped Library of Congress. So it's back, and let's just confirm that we're running live firmware. Menu System. Enter. Enter. Bookport Plus System Version 4.06.34 APH Serial Number Cancel System Properties Cancel Menu Cancel Okay My Bookport is updated Galva 123123 Signing off